All right, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box. And so if you are able and willing, I'll ask you to come and join me here up front. And if you're a guest with us, what we do every week is one child in the congregation puts something in a box. I don't know what it is before I see it. And then we try to find some sort of lesson about God's word or about Jesus or the gospel from what we see in the box. So let's see what's in the box this morning. Oh, this is great. I think I, think I know what this is. Is this, a, is this a duster? Is that what this is? This is, we take this around our house and, and we dust and, and you know what? It's, it's Thanksgiving this week. And what that means is there are some people coming over to my house. Uh, there are some grandparents of my children coming uh, to my house. And so you know what I'll be doing probably tomorrow or maybe Tuesday is I'll be taking a duster and going around our house and making sure our house is clean so that our guests can come and enjoy Thanksgiving with us. And you know what? There is a mistake that we make with God. Sometimes we think that we have to take the duster to our lives, that we're dirty, that we have sin, that we do wrong things, and we think that we have to take a duster and that we have to clean ourselves up. We have to clean our souls up so that God will come and live with us. But that's not true. That's not what the Bible teaches us. What the Bible teaches us is that Jesus came and he bore our sin on the cross. He took our sin on the cross. He took the dirtiness of our sin on the cross. And so it's not because we get all cleaned up. It is because what Jesus has done that God comes and he lives with us. God is with us right now in this room, not because it's super clean, but because of Jesus and what he's done. And so I hope that you will trust in him and, and let him be your cleansing. That was a great sermon in the box. Thanks so much. All right, we need to send it home oh, for someone else.